Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic and Miracles where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna and I'm your most favorite manifestation coach under the sun. Reason why there's no such coaching program like my coaching program because I've designed it myself during the last eight years that I've been a coach. All the information for me is below. I coach in audio exchange package, in Zoom sessions, in, if you're into interaction face-to-face. -face. I also um, coach in telephone sessions, of which there are two different packages. One is deluxe for the most hand-holding that you can possibly imagine in a coaching situation. And another one is a simplified version of it in either case. We run the wood two to three times per week, something that does not exist in the coach land out there in the internet. Uh, literally, we meet two to three times per week um, and uh, the session lasts an hour. In the case of audio exchange, your audio has to be 20 minute max. Mine always exceeds that limit. And you also have some phone sessions in that package as well. I also coach coaches um, if you want to do um, what I'm doing and uh, that information also is below if you need to make up your mind for an hour uh, and book me for an hour before you commit for the monthly coaching you can do that also uh, the information is below I do recommend two to three months in coaching with me for the full completion of the program so today I want to discuss um, I'm inspired to really record this I was almost going to record this earlier um, yesterday but I couldn't um, and I really wanted to talk about it. So this is the ultimate trick to get an apology by anybody, okay? Doesn't have to be romantic, doesn't have to be, um, you know, a, a specific person. It, well, a specific person really means anybody, okay? It can be a coworker or a relative, a friend, etc. And so what I noticed specifically in working with a lot of people who are concerned about specific people is that most of my clients are people pleasers, right? I'm just going to come out and say it. And so what happens with people pleasers is that they take a lot of what happened uh, and make it their fault. Okay, so they've been programmed um, to uh, kind of like um, blame themselves for everything that happens in a relationship. And we go into this in my coaching when I discuss your beliefs because you need to tell me about your history, how you grew up, etc. But I bet you money if you are people please or somebody earlier in your life convinced you that whatever happens that is not right in a relationship, it's your fault, even though you didn't do anything um, wrong. And so what happens a lot in these relationships is that even though the person has clearly wronged you, even though they betrayed you, they lied to you, they divorced you, they abandoned you, they cheated on you, etc., etc., you somehow make it your fault. Now, there's going to be exceptions to this rule, okay? But I'm speaking directly to the people who are people pleasers in this case because I've noticed this is, again, the majority of my clients, like 99%. Um, and parenthesis here, uh, some people have pretended in my coaching that they are that um, party of, you know, the, the, the victim in the relationship. And that turned out to actually not be true. Uh, they were the perpetrator. So please don't lie in coaching. I will end up kind of like really understanding what's what if you're just hiring me just to have like somebody on your side and you're really the cause of the problem you're wasting your time and money okay i will figure it out and it will be really embarrassing for you so don't waste your time or money so i'm talking about real um people who are have been programmed to basically put up with shit and so the real way to get an apology from anybody, okay, is to give people back their bullshit. And I uh, have an audio um, on my channel, uh, literally give people back their bullshit is what it's called. And it's basically saying like, give the energy back to this person who gave it to you. Okay, energetically what happens is when you hold on to this energy, when you make it your fault, when you're crying, when you're suffering, when you're doing all this shit, you are sheltering them from realizing what they've done wrong. You are sheltering them from their karma, from encountering things that they, quite frankly, deserve. Karma is a very fair law. 
is a it's, it's a law of balance it's not about revenge it's about the person coming to understand that listen this is not how the universe operates so you're in fact interfering okay by taking on too much on yourself into other people's karma okay a lot of people pleasers a lot of empaths do it okay so it's not your fucking job is what i'm here to tell you okay so if you're waiting on this apology and you're feeling so awful you feeling like you've done something wrong when in fact you know okay that you haven't done anything wrong your job my darling is to dust yourself off and you need to get in coaching with me okay job one would be but also to start realizing what's what that you haven't done anything wrong that you're a formidable person you have your beliefs that are off track there is that but that you need to start giving back this energy to the person who whose energy that is okay if you've done if you've genuinely done nothing wrong give that shit to that person and i can teach you in my coaching how to do this this is impossible for me to teach like in a video like this because it needs to be individual it needs to be that i know your history etc etc but essentially you part with that energy you start carrying that um sack of bricks on your shoulders and you say you know what no this is your crap to deal with okay and really genuinely come to this realization and conclusion all right from the depths of your soul okay down to your tippy toes that you have done nothing wrong other than put up with too much and this is why the situation happened usually when the people pleaser puts up with too much uh, caters too much forgives too much takes on too much they end up in this shitty situation where the person um you know basically mistreats them you can spoil the most benevolent person on earth by letting them getting away getting away with too much this is true story and your job is to really realize that no this is, is absolutely nothing to do with what i did the only problem i have is my belief system allowed me to behave in this way and cater to this bullshit but i am not doing this anymore and I'm giving this bullshit back to deal for this person to deal with it. Okay. They have done something that wasn't right and energetically part and let go of it. And I spoke about this in my last live a little bit about it, but I really wanted to revisit it because this is exactly how it works. Okay. When you stop condemning yourself, when you stop making, you know, uh, find, finding fault with yourself, um, blaming yourself and rethinking what you could have done right and this and that no you could not have done anything right on paper you, everything is correct you're not delusional you're not you know if they were gaslighting you or you know manipulating you and this and that you know that this was kind of like feeling horrible and you know that you are not wrong in thinking that you did not do anything um, incorrectly and so when you give people back their bullshit at the very least you will get that fucking apology and here's why because you're no longer sheltering that person from receiving that energy back to sender. Send it back to sender. It's their crap. Whatever their mama drama panorama is, uh, maybe their mother abandoned them, maybe ba ba do ba do ba do ba do. It's not your fucking problem. Your situation and your deal now is to deal with your own um, necessity to accept this bullshit. And you no longer want to do that. Okay, and so when you ha when you send that energy back, this person inevitably, it's inevitable, they come back to you, they can't help it. It feels so horrible to have this energy back. They can't sleep at night, they're miserable. I don't care who they are, the worst narcissist on this planet, okay? I've done this in my life and I've done this with my clients in my coaching. The worst possible person cannot resist this energy because this is something to be dealt with okay energy just doesn't go anywhere all right it's it's somewhere but if it's misplaced and it's with you you need to send it back to sender like i said they will at the very least come and apologize and beg for your forgiveness because you're no longer carrying that energy you're no longer sheltering them from that bullshit and you're no longer putting up with shit you radiate differently you now have worked on your beliefs you know ideally speaking 
maybe you come into my coaching and I help you to realize a few things about yourself, how to not repeat this experience. Why did you manifest this version of this person? And why did you end up behaving this way in a relationship? How to not repeat this um, experience ever again? And how to manifest, in fact, a completely different version of this person. But at the very least, you will, like I said, you will get an apology from this person because You've now set it all in the right place where before the energy was misplaced and you were carrying the heavy burden, blaming yourself, etc., etc., like I said, and now this energy is in the right place. It's with that person. And but for that to happen, chances are you've done this with many people in the past, okay? This is not just one isolated incident. This is like a history of situations like that where you feel responsible for other people's bullshit drop that shit, do me a fucking favor. Let today be the first day where you refuse to do that anymore, okay? And can I tell you something? This is what I call being selfish on my channel, where you become about loving yourself. Being selfish, as my vocabulary signifies, that you really are coming from the most benevolent place, first and foremost, towards yourself, Okay, why is that important? Because then you offer yourself the best kinds of experiences and you're of more value to the world than ever before. You are not of value to the world when you're miserable, when you're crying, when you're blaming yourself, when you, for years, maybe some people, you know, ruminate on the same situation and are miserable and cannot, con you know, literally can get out of bed in some cases or can perform uh, their job correctly or, you know, don't evolve, etc., etc. That is not what you need to do with your life, okay? And so if you need help, like I said, I'm available and the information is below, but you really need to completely turn the shit around once and for all and not repeat this nonsense because you, the best the best value that you can present to the world is by being the best version of yourself, okay? With that person or without that person. But don't worry, they will not only come and apologize and crawl on their motherfucking knees, they will turn into any person that you want them to, provided you still want them. You may not, okay? There have been cases in my coaching where the person changed so much in my coaching that they're like, this person? No, I can't do better than that. And that's totally valid. It's entirely up to you. I'm never going to tell you what to do in my coaching. I only suggest, right? I only guide you and I suggest, hey, what about this? What about that? And so some people have changed their mind, but don't you worry, you can have this person and, the, and, and the, the world, you can have anybody you want. The idea is to stop um, taking on things that aren't yours, and, this, and those could be many, not just with this person, but maybe your mama, maybe, maybe your daddy, maybe the sister, the brother, the whoever, the uncle, all this bullshit that you've picked up, which is why I go through your history first and foremost, Chances are this is not the first person who you took on their bullshit on and this is why life became heavy for you. And so like I said, if you need my help, all the information from me is below. Hope this is helpful for you. Uh, until next time, don't forget we go live every Saturday at 3 p.m. The rest of the time I create videos like these or audios. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Ciao, ciao.